Hello, my name is Rabbi Israel Jeffrey Hyman from Ilford United Synagogue, also known as Beehive Lane Synagogue. The question I'm answering today, is there a blessing for everything? A question that crops up in the movie Fiddler on the Roof. Well, yes, there is. Well, for almost everything in life, there is a bracha, with some exceptions. The Talmud Brachot contains numerous blessings, some which are recited daily and some for special occasions. Mishnah Brachot even tells us to bless God, not only for the good things that happen in life, but even, God forbid, for things that are not so good, such as the sad news of hearing about the passing of a dear one. There are brachot recited before the fulfillment of a mitzvah, such as putting on tefillin or lighting the Shabbat and Yom Tov candles, before and after enjoying the direct benefits of God's world, such as partaking of food and drink. And then there are those recited for seeing and experiencing the wonders of God's creation, such as seeing a rainbow, on hearing and seeing thunder and lightning. There's even a special bracha on seeing the first blossom of spring, or seeing an outstanding scholar, whether in Torah knowledge or secular knowledge, or seeing a king and queen or head of state. A bracha even exists for seeing an extremely malformed human being which at times society doesn't know how to react to but we recite a bracha a bracha that is in recognition of the lofty concept that we are all part of God's creation and together we are all God's children our central prayer, the Amida is a series of 19 brachot from petition to thanksgiving that cover the broad spectrum of all that we seek in life, whether wealth, health, or simply to live in peace with one's neighbors. But what can be more ennobling to the human spirit than the bracha that elevates the natural cycle of the digestive system into a poetic song of praise to one's creator with the concluding blessing. Blessed are you, O Lord, healer of all flesh who does wondrous deeds.